Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. So, first off, thank you guys so much for all the support. Um, the past two videos covering the ultimate prep for next, as well as the tier three guides, have really sort of blown up, and I, I appreciate the hell out of it, guys. Really means a lot to me. Um, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, turn on those bells. It helps me so, so very much, and I'm incredibly grateful for all of that. And then for next off, um, today is Thursday for me, and I will be uh, raiding tonight at 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern uh, at Twitch TV slash Kako Gaming. So if you want to see my live streams or sort of talk to me live, watch me do the raids. Um, we do AQ, um, BWL, as well as MC, <laughs> and e maybe even ZG or an AQ20. Um, if we're feeling ambitious, uh, our guild usually sort of uh, breaks off and does those occasionally as well. So just a lot of content, you know, and it's, it gives you guys a chance to sort of talk with me live and I'll happily answer any other uh, questions that you might have. An important thing to mention is it is DMF week um, for me today. So, you know, those are always fun raids. We're trying for a sub one hour AQ 40 clear which will be really really fun and impressive if we can get it and uh, I definitely uh Hope that we're able to. Um, but anyway, guys, I wanted to uh, take the time to sort of go into an individual class by class basis for the tier three sets. Um, sort of break it apart and look at each piece so that way you guys know exactly what you're looking for. I saw a lot on the tier three video that people sort of um, skipped around and looked for the exact uh, class they were. So I wanted to take a deep dive into that and sort of cover every single class and sort of what the mats, materials, and stuff you are going to need are. And first off, we're going to go over the pieces that you get from each boss and where you can find the tier pieces, as well as we will then go into the materials and the cost by class. So first off, we have um, Naxxramas. So Naxxramas is broken into four wings. There's the Plague Wing, the Spider Wing, the Death Knight Wing, and the Abomination Wing. And then there is the final wing, which is um, Saffron and KT. Um, but anyway, right here we have the spider wing. These are the first bosses. This is Anubarak and Grand Widow Feralina. And they drop the bindings for uh, the bracers for everyone. Um, these are the first two bosses of the spider wing. And then... Um, Mayrexnia, I'm not sure how to pronounce that as a final boss in the spider wing, and she drops the glove token. Now this is true for every single class. This is where you're going to get these pieces for your tier three. So that is the spider wing. Next we have the plague wing, which is Noth the uh, plague bringer, and uh, Hagen the unclean, as well as Lothib. Noth and Hagen drop the belt for everyone, and then uh, Lothiab drops the leggings for everyone. This is true um, for every single class. That's the important part, guys. Then next we have the Death Knight Wing, which is um, the Instructor, uh, Gothelic, and the Four Horsemen. So the Instructor and Gothelic drop boots for everybody, and the Four Horsemen drop everybody's chest fees, as well as the Four Horsemen drop the Corrupted Ashbringer, which is really, really cool sword. If you played Retail and Legion, you actually got it as a Brett Paladin. But um, you can actually get this, and it shows a quest line if you go into the Scarlet Monastery, which is actually really, really cool. Um, just something to note and make you guys aware of. Um, and then next, we have um, the Abomination Wing, which is Patchwork and Grobulus. Now, these guys drop the shoulder pads for everyone. And then the final boss of the Abomination Lair is going to be Gulf. Now, Gulf is definitely interesting. It's because they ran out of bosses to sort of drop tier. But he can drop the shoulders, the wrists, the belt, and the boots for literally everyone. And it's, it's sort of a extra mini boss um or it's an extra sort of like an extra bonus boss to get a lot of loot and then there is uh, thaddeus who is the actual end boss of the abomination wing and he drops hel uh, helmet pieces for everyone and then you go into the final two bosses which is saffron and kt saffron actually does not drop any tier pieces just a lot of amazing uh cloaks trinkets and some off hands as well as these quests for enchants which are pretty good as well 
Um, and then we have the final boss, which is Kel'Thuzad, and he doesn't even drop a token. He directly drops the ring for your class. So if you need your class ring, um, that is where you get it. Alrighty guys, so that is it, sort of the bosses, where they drop their tier, where you're going to run into them, and what you're going to get. Um, and this is, intro is going to be the same for every single video, and now we are going to uh, cut to a different part where we are going to take a dive into each individual class, um, the mats it takes to get each piece, and sort of how much that's going to cost you. Alrighty guys, so we are going to head into that now, see you then, whoop! Alrighty guys, so we are here with the rogue. That is what we're going to do next, and they have the bone slithe armor. So we're going to get into that with the tier three bracers, and that is going to be your bone slithe bracers. You put them on, they're nice black right there. Um, this set overall is pretty cool looking in my opinion, but the bracers are going to run you six war torn leather scraps, one arcanite bar, two cured rugged hides, 10 gold, and it's going to run you approximately 114 gold total for the bone slithe uh, bracers. Next, we have the gloves, which are going to be the bone slithe gauntlets here. We uh, put them on. They're, they pretty much cover up the bracers, so it kind of sucks in that aspect for aesthetic here on an undead. But all in all, still pretty cool looking. Um, these gloves are going to run you eight war torn leather scraps, one arcanite bar, five cured rugged hide, and they're going to be approximately 185 gold for this piece. Um, that brings us to the waist, which is going to be the bone slithe waist guard here, which you can see very, very uh, faintly right there could also be the leggings I'm wearing right now but they it's going to run you eight war torn leather scraps five cured rugged hide one nexus crystal 15 gold and then it's going to be approximately 162 gold for this now we probably have the most expensive tier piece that we have ever had and that is going to be the tier three legs um for the rogue it is the bone slice leg plates as you can see here it is going to be uh, 20 war-torn leather scraps, one arcanite bar, eight cured rugged hide, 100 gold, just flat out, and it is going to be approximately a total of 366 gold for this piece of gear. Kind of insane if you ask me. Now, I want to take a moment to tell you guys that every single piece is sort of it could change based off of your server. This is me taking my server um, pricing that we mentioned in all the previous videos thus far, sort of applying it to each thing, and it can just vary heavily. So please keep that in mind, as well as I'm taking the straight price off of the auction house. So like an Arcanite bar, I'm using the price for an Arcanite bar, not taking a crystal, taking thorium, and transmuting it. So if you want to save gold, I'd recommend you have an alchemist or you're buying X mutes, things like that, to sort of um, make this tier three gearing process much better for yourself. Otherwise, you're gonna be spending tons of gold because I would expect it to inflate even higher than what I'm saying here so next we have the tier 3 boots these are going to be the bone slice sabatons uh, you know look at that I actually pronounced the word right for once um, but there are 12 it's going to run you 12 war torn leather uh, scraps three cured rugged hide two nexus crystals and 25 gold so this is going to come at an approximate 130 gold for these boots um, next we have the tier 3 chest piece which is going to be the bone slithe breastplate and as you can see it kind of sort of sort of brings the set together you know it actually looks like a rogue um i went undead because i think undead rogue is like the most um you know it's like when you think rogue that's what you think in my opinion um but it's going to run you 25 war torn cloth scraps two arcanite bars and six cured rugged hide for a total of about 262 gold for this piece of gear right here Next, we have the tier three shoulders. Now, like with the other sets, the shoulders and the head really seem to be the best pieces. Um, they definitely look the coolest and sort of bring it all together, in my opinion. 
Um, with this set, I don't know. I don't think it looks the absolute coolest here. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, but for the Bone Slythe pauldrons, you're going to need 12 Warthorn Leather Scraps, 5 Cured Rugged Hide, 1 Nexus Crystal, and 50 Gold. And this is going to be approximately 197 Gold for your Bone Slythe pauldrons. Then, finally, we have the Tier 3 Head. This is the second most expensive piece, and it really just makes you look like a rogue, you know? You got a little bit of spiky shoulders, you got the mask on, it sort of looks really cool. I believe it gives you the blue eyes, which is really awesome. Um, but it's going to run you 15 War Torn Leather Scrap, 8 Cured Rugged Hide, 1 Nexus Crystal, 75 Gold, and it is going to be a total of about 303 Gold. So, when we get to the final piece that is going to be the tier three ring we can't see the ring and as you know if you've been watching the other videos the ring drops off of keltha's ad so it is absolutely free to you and you don't have to um you know spend lots of money and we can't really show a ring because they don't appear on your guy but all in all this set is the most expensive one by a lot and it's because it has one cured rugged hide which is the most expensive free agent that you're going to use for this entire set um for any of the sets um it, it's there just aren't that many skinners and leather workers out there that are making the hide and so that leaves a a much much needed uh gap there in the market so you know if you want to you know get on your leather workers and start making those i would highly highly recommend you do that um anyway uh this set runs about 1700 gold so that's <laughs> that's a lot rogues you know make sure you're saving uh make sure you're getting the mats and you know your set actually uses raw gold for the thing so that's just something super important to mention and without that with that guys i think that's it for rogue i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you next time Bye bye if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much for watching. It truly means a lot to me. If you happen to find anyone that you know would also benefit from watching this video, please, please, please share it with them. It helps me out a ton and allows me to keep doing what I love every single day, and that is gaming and sort of helping people any way that I can. So finally, thank you so much, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.